welcome back to the SCSP community channel today we are going to be looking at another tool in the OSINT series now the tool that we are going to be looking at is DNS twist now before we go to the tool and start running commands uh, let's have a little bit of background of what this tool does so basically this what this tool does is uh, you give it a domain input okay you can give it any domain your domain if you happen to have any right you give it an input and it checks for it checks for those domain that are really closely matched to your domain right so it can detect typo squattings and basically domains that are used by hackers to for phishing attacks and whatnot as you can see right here right um, you will get the point when I uh, run the tool right and also if you uh, you can download this uh, from github here now I am running the T uh Linux so it comes pre-installed on this So I already have the tool installed. It comes be installed on the T0Guy Linux. So now we're just gonna go ahead, type in DNS twist dot pi dash dash help. So here are all the different flags um, that we can use with it. So we're just gonna start off with uh, with a simple scan, right? So let's do a simple scan, right? So it is going to be DNS twist dot pi um, dash dash the main. So <clears throat> now we're just going to go ahead and give it dropbox.com. Oops. DNS dot pi box.com and now it has started running so this is going to take a little bit of a little while so now we're done we're done with the scan and as you can see <clears throat> There are a lot of results for uh, dropbox.com now all of these uh, dashes that you see uh, these are all the domains that the uh, tool couldn't resolve right and the other ones that have information in front of them like the name server and the mx record are the ones that actually exist right they're live and they exist they have a live public ip that can be accessed right so these are all the processes that it has done so firstly it does addition so dropbox.com it added, added an extra edge and then tried to resolve it uh, then it does bit squatting bit squatting is probably replacing a single character with a different one and then you have homoglyph so basically it is replacing these this R, the English R with the language of another R, I suppose. Now, it does all of this to actually see if uh, there is a domain that is uh, that matches the domain that we gave an input to, right? And as you can see, there are a lot of results. Insertion, so it just added another zero into the dropbox.com omission replacement so it does all of this um, you can also go ahead and you can give it like the registered flag now with this what it will do is uh, will only uh, give you the registered domains and will not you will not see these dashes in between right so now what we're going to go ahead and do is um actually let me go ahead and see what was that exactly 
Yeah, so we're gonna see, so this is the register flag that I was talking about. And we're gonna go in to see the geo IP lookup. Now, it will, with this flag, what it will do is, uh, it will also look up the, uh, the location, the geographical location for the server that the, uh, that the domain is hosted. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and do these both. Right, so we get the registered ones and we're using the GUIP. Okay. All right. I have misspelled registered. And now it's it has started the scan. So we're done with the scan over here and as you can see we have got all the registered domains along with their uh, location as well. Right? So this is what this flag does. Uh, the next flag is we're going to do an SSO. Well actually let me have a second look if that flag is actually what it is called it is SSD so basically what this flag does is basically first is it computes a hash of your original domain that you have inputted and then it computes a hash of the typo squatted uh, fake domain right and then it matches the, the both to see if the the website the fake website is actually used for uh, phishing right <clears throat> so and you know it gives you the result in percentage so if it might vary depending on if the hash matches or not so we're just going to go ahead and give it ssd google.com right and let me go ahead and give it registered again right i have again misspelled registered that will do it so let's go ahead and try and run this here as you can probably see we have the results all the registered domains for Google um, so here this is how SSS deep work um, so it is showing a 72% match for gogole.com with google with the actual google.com so 74 percent with this g double o g e l google.com so yeah so this is uh this is what basically you can use the dns twist for um is to find if somebody is uh somebody's using or somebody posing as your domain right and typo squatting your domain so that be it for this video um hope you liked it if you did please leave a like and do subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments uh do comment them down below i'll see you in the next one